Hello good friends, uh, here to test a new little piece of gear. This is the PNY 256 gig USB 3 flash drive. Thumb drives, I've had some success with them in the past. Uh, I've not owned a USB 3 one yet. So 256 gigs, I'm hoping it's fast. I would like to think I could edit video on this thing and uh, you know, hopefully it's not just something that's really terribly slow. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a test with it uh, kind of benchmarking it against one that I think is fantastic, which is the uh, the SanDisk Extreme 480 gig, which is much larger. You know, the, the, that, the SanDisk is bigger than this. Um, I've got it over here. I've, I've done a review of it before. So this one is small. You know, it's good uh, good size. I did look this up. I bought this at Staples for 60 bucks. So this is 60 bucks for 256 gigs, whereas the um, SanDisk Extreme was for 480 gigs about 160, so about 100 bucks more for not quite twice as much as what's on here. So if this is comparable, it'll be a pretty good buy, right? So let's just try, try transferring some files and actually rendering some 4K video and see if this possibly can stand up or be at least a competitor, at least supplemental to the SanDisk 480 Gigabyte Extreme. Okay, folks, so one of the first things I'm gonna try, of course, this is the new PNY drive over here. And over here are some files, and I have this waiting at a quarry, which is 40.8 gigs. Now all this is 1080p video. There might be some 4K video on here, but I'm really just gonna see how long it takes to write from here over to here. So here's 40 gigs, and we're gonna time it. Here we go. Okay, folks, well, I'm gonna say this. Uh, it is painfully, painfully slow. I cannot believe this is a USB 3 device. Uh, PNY, I do not believe, is giving you quite what you need to get from a USB 3 device. I'm still sitting here. It's at nine, it's getting ready to turn 97% right, right now, okay? 97%. It seems like I've been waiting for seven and a half, almost eight minutes for just 40 gigs to copy over. So I know that the SanDisk Extreme is gonna be much faster than that. So we're gonna try that in just a moment. And we just finished. So now let's do the SanDisk Extreme and let's copy it over. So now I'm gonna go over here to the Extreme 500. So I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste. And so we're in the final seconds here of the uh, copying over to the SanDisk Extreme, and which was much faster. I'm gonna guess it was at least twice as fast. So we'll uh, put those on the screen so you can see what the final times were. So kind of to sum everything up, I'm thinking that the PNY is gonna be fine for doing photos, putting photos on it, MP3s, playing some music. I could probably even play back video just fine. I just don't see it just because of from the just from the example of the right times. I don't see that it's going to be great for editing video. I think you're still going to need something like the SanDisk Extreme if you want to replace a hard drive and actually be a little bit faster than a hard drive. So um, I, I very much like the SanDisk Extreme. I would say if you're going to be editing video, doing something very memory intensive, lots of data being transferred back and forth, you're still going to want to go something like that rather than the PNY 256 gig. It's fast, it's faster than USB 2, but it's not nearly as fast as what you'd probably like if you're gonna take something out. It's a shame too. You'd like to think you'd take something that's that small out and that could be uh, something you could just edit and crunch all your video and stuff on, but not so, not yet folks, at least not with this one. Maybe uh, be cool to try SanDisk's version of one of these, not the PNY, but see if SanDisk makes a thumb drive. I know they had one that was not 256, maybe it's 128. Maybe I end up buying one of those and trying that. So you can get this at Staples. Like I say, pretty fast, just not fast enough as far as I'm concerned for video editing for the most uh, memory intensive or processor intensive uh, functions. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.